Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for February 4th through the 10th. We're going to jump right on in here and see what is going on for the week ahead. We're kicking off the week with a new moon in Aquarius. New moons are a perfect time for manifesting. And this one specifically in Aquarius is going to be helping us overcome any mental blocks, mental limitations, seeing clearly, seeing answers to our problems, seeing solutions and how to make our dreams happen. So this is a really great time to just start off with that clean slate heading into this new year we're going to see how this energy is affecting our virgo friends virgo sun moon and rising okay so let's go ahead into monday tuesday there's your monday tuesday wednesday thursday all right oops virgo all right friday saturday and sunday There's your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm going to use a different deck after we look at these cards to pull an angel message or soul homework message for Virgo for during the week. This is going to be a reading for career, money, a spiritual growth, friends, and family. The love readings are separate. And if you want to check out the love readings, you can click the link in the description after this video if you want to watch the love videos. So let's look into the rest of your life. Monday, Tuesday, you have four of cups coming up, Virgo. And this is kind of, to me, a Virgo card. Uh, Virgo, you might not be very happy or satisfied with something that is being offered to you. Virgos, you guys are really, really good at picking out or being able to see what a problem might be in a situation or how things maybe aren't quite measuring up to expectations or how you would like or want them to be. And so you may be looking at a situation in a very critical way. I would say please be cautious in this energy because we are in the new moon energy. And so something that seems to you to be unimportant or insignificant or not enough could really be a key or a stepping stone to something you're trying to manifest. Don't be too quick to turn your nose up at something. Don't be too quick to reject something because the universe may be trying to help you get you to where you want to be you know this could be a little breadcrumb on the breadcrumb trail that's that's leading you home so ask your angels and guides to help you see clearly ask your angels and guides to help you realize and understand when something is being offered to you to benefit you you know when to say no when to say yes because I feel something is coming into your life in this new moon energy in the beginning of the week trying to help you to something better, right? And it may not seem like that important to you. So ask your angels and guides to help you see what they're wanting you to do or how they're trying to lead you or direct you into manifesting the things that you're wanting to manifest. Your Wednesday, Thursday card, Virgo, is Six of Cups. So whatever is in your present moment, the reason why maybe you're, you're, you're turning your nose up at it is because you feel like you left behind something better in the past. You might be like, man, I really messed up. I had a good thing and I didn't want it and I walked away from it and now I'm in a new situation and what I had was better. So you might be feeling... Um, discontent for that reason the message with six of cups is that things happen as they're meant to happen things happen as as you know where oop i don't know if you guys heard that car outside my goodness <laughs> you might be very angry that car just really skid in an angry way you might be angry virgo somebody may be angry at you and you might have some unresolved energy there about that so you might not be happy about where things are in the present moment you might be downright angry about them you might be blaming somebody else you might feel like things would have worked out so well if this person had just been patient or if they had not gotten in my business or if they had just trusted me but you know what what's meant to be yours can't be taken away so if it didn't work out, it's because the universe is leading you to what is better for you and what is in the best interest for everybody involved, okay? So you need to have faith and have trust in that way. Sometimes Six of Cups could be somebody that you're reconnecting with from the past. Maybe you're having to revisit 
a family issue or maybe there's a lover from the past that is reaching out to you or that you're reaching out to them and trying to get some kind of closure or clarity or figure out where things stand before you figure out whether or not you're going to accept whatever is being offered to you in the beginning of the week. Maybe you need to like figure out where something in the past stands before you're able to make a decision about the future. Okay, especially with this new moon energy and the new energies coming in. Uh, this could be a time for clearing old energy out for a lot of people, Virgo. And for some of you, the past and the present, it's kind of like these things are coming together and blurring. Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday card here is Two of Swords. You're not wanting to make a decision about something. You're not wanting to see the truth of a situation. Virgo, I feel there's something you don't want to let go in this new moon energy, the universe is showing you which way to go, which path to go down. And you can either trust in it and go in it and experience the blessings and the joy that you didn't know that were possible. Or you could dig your heels in and say, I don't want to. No, 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 no. And fight it and stay and be in that sadness or that resentment or that bitterness understand and know that anytime something is removed or something doesn't seem to be working out something better is ahead and we have to be open to accepting it otherwise if you're turning your nose up at whatever is being offered and you're looking back at the past and you're like man it was better before then you're stuck you're in that two of swords energy where nothing's happening and here we are in this beautiful new moon energy, this clean slate energy for 2019, where you could virtually have anything, you know, you could you could create anything for 2019. So it might be very tempting to get hung up on the past. It might be very tempting to even sulk or, or, or wallow over something, that you, that some disappointment that you have. But Two of Swords is asking you to open your eyes and to see the truth of the situation. Even if there's things you're feeling bad about, Virgo. Even if, you know, because I know you guys can be very critical. You you might be very critical of yourself right now. You might be like, man, you, you know, like, you might be like really mad at yourself. Don't do that, okay? You did the best that you could. Each of us do the best that we can with the tools that we have in, in the time being, in the moment being. And that which is meant to be will will occur. So have faith that better things are coming. Have faith that it might be time to let go of some situation or person and be open to something new coming in for you, which is going to be for better. Virgo, I feel for a lot of you, this is just a matter of being on a different path, okay? You might not be in the same place or the same energy um, as someone or something else that you were, you were trying to create in your life. And you all aren't converting to one another's way of being. They're not coming into your energy. You're not going into their energy. So it's, for some of you, it's time to go a separate way. And you, you have to trust and know that the right people, right circumstances, right places, they exist for you. And they can't come in until we let go of what was. Okay, This new moon energy is trying to bring you new blessings. Don't push them away. Let's check out your angel message soul homework for the week for virgos see what is going on for our virgo friends sun moon and rising be sure to check out your uh, moon and rising sign videos as well because that's going to add more information for you your energy and what you're experiencing how the energies are going to be more specific to you you may need a private reading and there's a link in the description on how to contact me and schedule a private reading as well. All right, Virgo. Reliable. Okay. Have faith and trust. The universe will show you that it's reliable. The universe will show you that that which you um, need will come to you in time. But you have to be open and allow the universe to do its thing. Okay, for some of you, 
it's learning to be a reliable person and in that way bringing reliable people into your life into your existence everything is a mirror so you might be feeling like somebody bailed on you and that two of swords energy might be that you're not wanting to see ways in which you bailed on them that can be painful when we're awakening the hardest part of initial awakening is when we see things in ourself in which we realize that we're not perfect. Even though you might know in your mind nobody's perfect, when we see things that we wish we had done differently, it can be a little excruciating. But the universe is asking you to be gentle with yourself. And like I said, realize you did the best you could in that moment. And now that you see better ways of doing things, you're bringing them into your life and you're creating it for yourself. So as you're being a more reliable person, you're attracting more reliable people into your life. Okay, um, you are having this peace, this harmony, this support coming in for a lot of you. And for some of you, it might happen very gradually where in the beginning, it's happening in ways in which you're able to self-soothe in healthy ways through music, uh, through activities, through reading, maybe seeing encouraging things online, uh, writing or journaling. And then before you know it, it begins trickling in by way of like physically supportive or reliable people in your life. The universe is trying to show you that it's here and it's trying to help you trust, trust, trust that these changes are to bring you happiness and joy and to bring you the right group of people and experiences and things for you in your future ahead. Okay, trust that and know that you're going to be receiving the love and attention and respect that you deserve. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. That helps the videos get out so more people can see them. It helps me to continue making videos. And as always, let me know in the comments what kinds of readings you'd like to see. There's going to be another pick a card in a couple of days. So be sure to subscribe and hit notifications so you don't miss out on that. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time.